Hey guys, I am back. More Final Fantasy 16. Have not played for nearly two weeks. It feels like it's felt like a long time. Um, let's see, do I remember what I am doing? I remember getting Shiva from Jill. This is a really romantic scene, and like all game, I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> wanted uh, for them to have their moment, so I'm glad we were able to have it. Let's see. Um, the last time I did a bunch of side quests. I don't know what side quests I have left. Let me. Let's check everything. Oh, it looks like I'm not quite ready. I'm just side questing then. Uh, let's start with over here, I guess. Actually, right, exactly where I need to go. Duty and die. Let's do this one first, I guess. I mean, it's probably like a chill play Final Fantasy 16 again. I might not get to do any main quests right now, but maybe just that visit the infirmary. Probably check him on Jill again. Uh, she got captured by Odin not too long ago, and we rescued her. So now she's hurt. <laughs> Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Archaeologians? Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey is being conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was oh. due to visit my colleagues there to collect Wait, their preliminary Is findings, that, but that place they were talking you about would consent to do so in my stead. I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Sounds good. To All right. I'll go meet with them. They will be most gratified. I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? Titan's Wake. It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Let's go to the other. Side quest. Wait, can I not go there? It's closed. Uh, gotta go that way, huh? It's, they just say go through Titan's Wake, so. Uh, let's check out this side quest real quick. Everything's back the way it was? No. I don't know how. Naughty. Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats. Oh yeah, I remember that. firmly at the helm. Our stores are full, and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. 
It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. <laughs> Got him. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. Indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences and presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call League of the Outlaws. League of Outlaws. And they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be <laughs> to run for the hills. Please. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. By killing them. Perhaps a certain <laughs> Lord Underhill? Might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Underhill? <laughs> Why they call us Underhill? How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. Hey. I'll go and speak with him. Yes. I think that's gonna be closer to us, so we can go to that one first. And a what? League of Outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Those, those guys right there. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Victor. Oh, Where's this guy? I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Let's see, is that a closer spot? Nope. Uh, chocobo time. Those ne'er do wells with the Now, those are actually guards <laughs> for the city. I thought those guys were like, like the wind. bad peoples. Alright. Time to fight. I think it's been about uh, two weeks since I last played, more or less, so I'm not sure if I remember how to fight <laughs> optimally, but just wait and see. That Where's that? The camp victim mentioned. We're just Someone getting in there well. kicking some ass. We'll kick your ass. That's him. The one who killed Lock and Finger. Take his head off. Oh. I noticed I already swapped off with the Phoenix. Oops. 
thought it should be very early. Oh, huh. for some reason that didn't count. There we go. Ow. I get used to it. It definitely feels weird not having uh, Phoenix on. Sapphire so played the whole game <laughs> with the Phoenix. I bet Levick to know. Sid, where are you? Oh, what? All of us out here. Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimel. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. What? They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalimel. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years. Which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Yeah. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know where we go from here. But I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. That sucks. You're right. And now everyone knows. I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I <laughs> rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. Mm. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. Good. All lies, I'll wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something. And quickly. It's kind of wild that, like... The people not to let their prejudices blind them. Exactly. <laughs> like, them that nothing after all these years, that their enemy all the good he's done for them, these wolves just... not within them. Finding out right. he's a bear speak to everyone. changes everything. I'm glad you agree. Wild. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a downright born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Like, I don't even know <laughs> if anything really like is. that could ever happen to me, per se. Like, it's one thing and I just change everything. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. I think it'd feel about a certain person. League of Merchants, however. Is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubo, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Why are you taking the bells? Why do they always have to make such a <laughs> Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Underhill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of merchants. 
I forgot about that, actually. That's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? 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 He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. <laughs> so what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. <laughs> that is a question for the people of Dalimil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Yeah. Because <laughs> like Clive's like, well, I'm one of him too. The townsfolk have made their minds up. That discrimination runs so deep. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refuse to consider anything but their own wounded pride. <laughs> you never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. <laughs> Why the hell would Victor take the bearers? The bearers. I assume the situation is hopeless. There's still hope. But. What? But perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubor. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You'll see. No, you won't. <laughs> and your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubor. Lubor. Rosina would often tell me. Rosina? That steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true. That was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. And now I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil <laughs> have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Oh. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. <laughs> they would not take it, Victor. <laughs> it's over. Over, you say? Oh. And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubor? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. Your reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Poor guy. You're right. Uh, I think the closest way is here. 
I gotta go the long way. Oh, what? Where'd they come from? This would be easy. Oh, we're out of here. Uh, see something there, but. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, knocked me off my chocobo and just ran away. <laughs> my chocobo. Fly, Ambrosia. We'll go straight for the hunt. I there are other places I can go, but. Don't get surrounded. If I really want to. Deserve a rest. What's this? It's a chest. Bring a demolitionist. Let's see. Let's see what that does. Demolitionist. Increase magic's burst damage by 15%. Sure. I do use it a lot, so... Ready, go? Doggo. Oh no. Everybody did. Oh no. Yeah. 
You'll pay for this. Oh, it's Akashic constructs. Enough. That's like a big hit in the face for that. I don't think magic burst is actually worth it. Magic burst is like you, know, you hit magic button as you're doing the regular slice combos, whatever. I don't think it's worth it. Should have stayed in the past. Should have stayed in the past. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Stranger. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them, and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers? might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins, a duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They oh, gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your final Amanda! Hello! As it does in ours. Hello, Amanda. Thanks a lot, Lented, for the Let's resubscription. Get this back to Cyril. How are you guys doing tonight? Hello, Laces. Welcome on in. Can't say because you're a lot farther than me, and I don't want spoilers. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm actually just doing probably side quests for the most part. Um, they haven't played for like two weeks, uh, so I'm like I should probably finish this game at some point. I do appreciate the raid, even if we can't stay. Um, but yeah, 
How far did you get? I don't know if you're still here. Or did you run away already? No, but, uh, <laughs> stay for a few more months again. Okay. All right. Yeah, I probably won't do any more, any uh, main quests. I'm just doing a bunch of side quests for the time being. Just trying to remember how to play. <laughs> hey, Mike sounds kind of tiny. Did you change something? I am. Um, apparently, this new headset I have has a built-in microphone. I don't actually know where the microphone is, like where the sound goes in through. I have a feeling it's just little slot right here, <laughs> but yeah. So let me know. I can also change some more settings around to help with the the mic sounds. But let's see. See, I got to Bahama and finding him, and that's all I remember. Okay, so you beat Dion <laughs> pretty much, and he like didn't die, even though we fell out of space. <laughs> um. But yes, okay, I am a, a whole idolin or icon uh, further than you. But yeah, a lot of things do happen between now and then. Um, See, so yeah, I'm one full yeah, <laughs> icon away. So you actually did not see what happened. And I did write in our group chat an event that took place, but I was super vague. <laughs> I guess you didn't catch it, which is good. Let us continue um, then. There is a second hole. But yeah, so yeah, we're just doing a bunch of side quests, trying to get me to remember what I'm doing. And yeah, I'll probably listen to the uh, archive of the VOD for this to hear what my mic sounds like. Um. Yeah, so I think the microphone slot is like right there. <laughs> so I just had to speak very loud, which I don't like doing. <clears throat> but if I don't like the settings or the way it sounds, then I'll just switch back to using my Yeti mic. Because it is still right over here. But didn't feel like having it today. See, see how it is. Ah, you are returned, my lord. I don't know. I collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Yeah. Take them. Also... My thanks. I shall study them, and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril. Your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses yeah. which could have been avoided. Had the others not chosen to complete <laughs> their work, Instead of saving their friends, were these your orders? No. This what? was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when bruh. death is avoidable. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bruh. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. What? The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. <laughs> Clive's like, this is bullshit. Our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose. And that purpose alone. Cyril. I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua. But allow me to offer you a word of advice. <laughs> Some stupid it's shit. Not further the cause of the <laughs> Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Yep. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please, for all our sakes. I thank you. For your advice, my lord. <laughs> He's like, but we're not gonna... If you will permit me to respond. Our faith in his grace, Joshua <laughs> Rosfield. Yeah, there's like... Is absolute. Nah, we good. The undying will do what we believe <laughs> is right to uh... fulfill our duty unto him. As first shield to the phoenix, I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. 
Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together. <laughs> that sounds very dumb. I would not. <laughs> That's why cults are very dangerous. Reduce Ice Age cooldown. Yeah, let me not join any cults, thank you. Okay, so I think all the side quests are done in this area. Oh yeah, I just got that. We marker. We just got two more, or well, maybe two, but let's see what's in here. Is that the only one here, actually? This might be our last side quest. And then once this side quest is done, then we can, I guess, actually go do the main quest. See the. I wonder. Give me a second. Uh, change something real quick. You needn't fret. The creatures have been dealt with. Yes. Yeah, what if they come back? Is there anything we can do to help? I don't wonder if that helps. Try to make it so my noise gate is a little more open. Let's see here. Hello, Lady Isabel. Oh, Clive. What oh. am I to do? <laughs> My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold, a foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. Sambrek. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me, I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. That sounds pretty normal. <laughs> but for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. Oh, yeah. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops, yes. Alright. Wish me luck. Okay.
Under new management. I may have met this duke before. At the remembrance ceremony. Let's hope I didn't make a strong impression. <laughs> Hello. Halt. Halt. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dames man, aren't you? Oh, yeah, we are. You've got some business with the captain? Oh, yeah, we no, do. actually. With the Duke. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I was I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. So, you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek, or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. <laughs> redundant? Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Yay. A pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been under-reckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt. Beginning right here in Northreach. Right here. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Care Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbreck. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that the man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. And yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have <laughs> yeah. left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, Sabine. we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. She a courtesan as well. an empire, there are no citizens. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. Oh. I'll come back later. Yeah. <laughs> let me uh let you guys find it out. Citizens revolt. <laughs> I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Let's begin with those on the other side of the wall. As long as you remain. <laughs> Sabine, you're embarrassing me. No, 
that's usually how it works, though. Just raising taxes. All right, there. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him. Yeah, he's a bitch. <laughs> Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint tar bucket in hand. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. <laughs> Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This Ooh. is her town, not his. Got him. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Ooh, got him. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Why? A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. <laughs> He's a bitch. You build a life for yourself somewhere, only for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. Mm. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Well, the people seem united enough. Yeah. <laughs> what about the soldiers? Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a saw from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Well, that's fair. Gotta pay for protection. Um, but then, of course, you don't really know if they're being protected properly. Or they're just not getting exploited and stuff like that. You. You. <laughs> You're the one who was talking to his eminence. On the dame's behalf, yes. I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but it seems my words fell on deaf ears. What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. I'm a soldier. Tells me what to do, <laughs> not the other way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect for the dame, but I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie. Not with the town or the empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us the men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue skinned bastards, I don't Skin care bastards. how he does it. So it seems to be like military versus the common folk. Like that's pretty much how it's split so far. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. Serious All soldier. I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, law. no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once hmm. Sandrak is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. Oh, 
Am I talking to you? Where's Sully? Yes. Captain, do you have a moment? For you? Certainly. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. And she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls. So I better go. Thanks again. It seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that, if nothing else. Right. you fair? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... <sighs> so Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. Yeah. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions. And hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion, and would rather their destinies were in your hands. Ooh. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. No. Oh. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in. I quit. <laughs> with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realize what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, but protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Indeed. All of us, standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, milady. Anything Speaking for of you. Uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. Mm -hmm. There may be hope for Northreach yet. 
Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke, in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. Until then. Alright, I think that is all the side quests for now. So let us go check up on Jill. I think that's the last time in the story we uh, saved Jill from Odin, from uh, what was his name, Barnabas? Yeah, he uh, yeah, beat Clive's ass <laughs> to the patrons, two it? times, actually. So. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Swish, I, was... I don't know how high these points go, but uh, there's at least a thousand more points. And if most side quests are like 30 points of renown, All done? it's definitely going to be a lot of uh, side quests to do. Um, let me see. I actually don't think I want this. Yeah, magic burst is when you press a triangle in between slices. So it's not that good. Um, it's like by 12. It's not that much either. Might be better than nothing. Probably just leveling up faster is better. Combo damage, aerial combo, lunge damage. Yeah, these percentages are very small. So I feel like it's not even worth doing. I should get this. Reduces cooldown. Let's go and save, actually. Chill. Oh, yeah, Joshua. <laughs> How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The king could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You, you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, <laughs> and that man was Barnabas. Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just, I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Prince? Dion? Yeah, Dion got out of his hospital bed and went back home, as we see here. This is his home. Some nameless slum. Uh... He was definitely still hurt when he got back here. Should have rested some more, but... Nope. Oh, yeah, the uh, medicine girl uh, saved him, actually. So, uh -oh. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, all these wounds are from when we fought him back in... Uh, a couple chapters ago. What is this place? There she is. Don't move. Wow. 
play as his lance. I guess halberd. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. So where's Yuna? We need her to dance. I'm surprised she actually carried his spear all the way here, or whatever. It's Halberd. The feet Pike. from the shadows. Ultima. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear, and for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. Your hurts. Your hurts. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. <laughs> Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. Going then. Do we get this uh I'm healed. Girl's name. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Oh. She's lonely. I wonder what that red dot in the sky is. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, <laughs> but I doubt they'll stop you. <laughs> you will take your medicine. <laughs> of course. Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are ya? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't seem to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The professor! Professor! <laughs> She's so While happy. Plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Yeah. 
Give me nine tails. That was a new hunt. I wonder how many. Just one? Well, there's two. Oh, it's three. That's rank ones. I have no idea where they are. Uh, I think I'm still going to wait to take them on because, again, they are S rank, so. Not sure if I'm actually ready to fight them or not. Um, I meant to look up to see where their locations are, but I just never did that. <laughs> yeah, I just never. I haven't played for about two weeks. Yeah, at some point I will do that. But, but now, let's move on. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here <laughs> off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? Oh, what? <sighs> Go on. <laughs> as soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. Shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash. And the come from the sky. And the you have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land... You won't find it on my map. Oh, go on to the skies. Tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. No splinters. All right. All right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me and it's over. <laughs> Understood? Lips are sealed. It would be pretty cool if we went by air. So again, there are no airships in this. Time they call the last king, but understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. I mean, it's cheap. And having unleashed <laughs> them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne it's on the Odin. kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. All that blight. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beastmen and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. Or Nikor, my sky. <laughs> Unfortunately. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mate? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. Bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? 
Well said. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Oh. <laughs> Probably more visits. Oh. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright. Oh, new quests are available. New side quests. Okay, well, back to the infirmary. I do kind of want to just take care of all the side quests before going through main missions, so. Please, Your Grace. Oh, yeah. My Lord Marquis. It's her. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But? But His Grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Of course. That's my bro. For Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. Stonerwort? It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Sounds good. Check around. Oh, wait, is that the only side quest? It is. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like another set of side quests, but it's just the one for Joshua. Which works. It's all good. Let's get it done. Yeah, I believe I'm pretty overleveled for uh, current main quest. I think most of the enemies were like high, high twenties, low thirties, and I'm sitting here at forty-two, so definitely. Oh, is the aqueduct now to find our stone wart. Definitely easier. Blood red petals. Fights. Big boy. 
เอาเปิดThat's pretty easy. <laughs> easy side quest. Stone and what I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. Nice. We have so much of this stuff, like, <laughs> what do we need it for? Uh, treatment Diary. Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned it, uh, I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so that it could heal. But not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes, for, <laughs> it comes to me from treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. Uh, yeah, Tyre. <laughs> Tyre is like sick of it. Kind of reminds me of uh, one doctor lady in uh, My Hero Academia. How do you split this keeps healing Deku, but keeps <laughs> severely injuring himself. Well, let's see. I don't think there's any new blacksmith. Yeah. Nothing. Hey, struggle. On the floor. Let's talk to him. I have no reason to assume. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him 
Lorisman, tell him. Recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima, well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, few have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm? What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. Moths. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Right away. Okay. I can either ride the Enterprise. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I are oh, well. going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. <laughs> Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps though. Just in case, like. <laughs> Once you've dropped us off of the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters. Fly merchant colors and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. <laughs> Scary mugs. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. Jill's the best. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Docks. Uh, I think what I can do... Yeah, I don't really want to start the next major Maybe mission yet. Leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. I actually don't want to stay on too late because I know I didn't start late, but let's talk to Otto real quick. So yeah, there are some like fight challenges we can do. I mean, some of these, uh, I don't know what they're called, but the stone monuments, uh, they let us do some fights that we can do. Is something wrong? No, too. No at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order. 
while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Hmm? Oh. Nice. All right. Yeah, let me go around and look for these different fighting uh, challenges. I know there was one right there. Uh, it just takes me a while to get there. Uh, I couldn't finish it. Oh, there's one right here, too. I ex actually don't know if they're all activated. I'm pretty sure some of them aren't activated because I don't have either the icon or the moves. Though I'm only missing one icon, so... Yeah. Yeah, let's not do those. There's one. Oh, there's one right there. Is there another one? There's the other one. Uh, I guess let me try to go to this one see what's up. I feel like there should be another one in this area, but I just haven't unlocked it. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do all of them, so I might as well just start somewhere and... Try my best. Yeah, let's do a couple of these and uh, call it night. Party makeup has changed. I feel like this is one of the only Final Fantasies in which there aren't that many party members actually. There's Torgal, Jill, Joshua. I guess there are some others, but that's like the main ones. Uh, let me try over there. Yeah, I don't know if this one's activated. And again, I don't know some of the criteria. That would be activated, but let me just find out. So this one is activated. It's the Phoenix. I'm definitely ready to do Phoenix <laughs> Phoenix fighting. That's all I've been using. All game. Alright. Let's see. End of Hyperion. Right, we get the usual uppercut. And Cyclone. Again, too bad we don't have the other thing. Uh, ignition. It's like my favorite. I need to start doing that. Check two enemies with a single Scarlet Cyclone. I also need to do that too. Rising finish. Oh, kill one. Launch an enemy into the air with rising flames and defeat it before it hits the ground. Meaning I just have to kill it <laughs> with... Rising finish. Shift combo. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, five, uh, five seconds for three time bonus. Are the same battle, battle techniques three times in a row or just three times? Earn six um, unique battle technique bonuses. Earn two unique battle technique bonuses in succession. I can definitely do that. Get all eight bonuses. Uh, double shift. And a shift shot on enemy in the air two times. Shift shot. There. I can definitely do that. Ten magic waves. Really finish. Still with killing blow with the iconic ability. Easy. Deliver a downward attack. Yep. Yeah. Let us try it out. Ah, uh, try to dodge.
Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty used to using Phoenix. That's why I didn't get all of them. Rising, but I didn't get the rising finish. I should have gotten that for the final hit. The final. Well, probably because it was a bigger enemy, so I didn't actually launch them in the air. That's unfortunate. I uh, got pretty much everything else though. Nice. Got 137 extra seconds. I'm assuming. Well, they'll probably tell us. What's the next stuff? <laughs> so what if I didn't want to go to the next stage? I also wonder if these are like level, like um, stats based. Like we need to get a certain damage output for us to be able to beat this. I think. Uh, let me see. Oh, I haven't used Heat Wave at all. Which I'm kind of sad about heat Wave Counter. Spell an enemy projectile and land a precision counter with a single heat wave. Oof. It's gonna be rough. I haven't actually done that before in fight, but I think I should be okay. Temp magic burst. It's easy. Everything else is pretty. I think everything else is pretty much the same. Lip, uh, land a shift shot on the enemy in the air two times. In the air. So there's flying enemies that can do this too. Oh. Ow. Oh. I'm getting demolished. Oh, Jesus. Oh my gosh. There's another guy running around messing me up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to do this now. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. uh, uh. Why is it so hard? I see. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm 
I'm dead. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Jesus. Uh, can I retry that stage again? <laughs> we have to do the whole thing. Dang it. Uh, is that Akashic thing in my ass? Thirty-two seconds for that. Ow! Dodge. Oh wow, that actually did a lot of stun. I should have killed him. Nice. Uh, how much time do I have now? Better? Less. Dang it. <laughs> that sucked. That sucked. Mm. Sorry, I didn't get this one. If I didn't get that one, I didn't get the double shift. Mine a shift shot. An enemy in the air two times. I think because I did an aerial sh shift shot. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work out. Part of it too is like trying to get these challenges done. Again, I think everything's the same except for the heat wave counter. Fuck. <laughs>
out. Press wrong button. Get your <laughs> bug ass out of here. Right, so that was a lot better. I was a lot more aggressive. I still couldn't get this one, but I don't know. So whatever. I still don't know how to do this one. I a shift shot on an enemy in the air two times. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Alright. Stage three. So stage three in the Garuda one was painful as heck. Mainly because I didn't have enough damage to beat it. So yeah, maybe these trials just aren't beatable early on. Only because you still do enough damage. But we'll see. Pretty sure we get there's a rebirth. Actually I wonder if these skills are automatically uh, upgraded. I could technically upgrade every skill I have. I'm pretty sure I have enough AP to do so. Um, oh, I got Heat Wave again. I hate Heat Wave. It's so bad compared to the other ones. Um, at least, yeah, the damage isn't that great. I'd rather have the Uprising, whatever it is. Um, yeah, everything's the same. Punch the punishment. Strike a staggered enemy. Oh, easy. <laughs> That's what I would do anyways. Do it. Very scared right now. Uh, 
somehow. Oh, I got him with the dinghy. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No, don't die. No! <laughs> I was trying to activate the f Flames of Rebirth. Damn it. I was so close. I think I would have finished that too if I didn't die right there. Alright. I got it. I got it. Oh, I actually, uh, I think killed now. Two things with the uh, that one skill, and I'll get twice the. Oh, he was so much closer. God damn it. What if that makes me lose all of my limit break? Uh, better than last time. Not as good as the first time. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't lose all of my limit break from that.
that shit out of here. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely better than the last time. Oh, look at all that time bonus. So I have plenty of time, I just might not have enough health. <laughs> so I didn't take that much damage this time around, so I should be fine. I wonder what we get from uh, beating this. It'd be cool if like all of the uh, those accessories that deal with you know this icon like got boosted. Ow. Over. Is that the final stage? No, I think it's one more stage. Jesus. One more stage. Okay. What the last stage is? That was pretty. Well, can't say it was that tough. I'm just gonna see. Oh, it's this guy. Is he by himself, I wonder? So we plans of rebirth and Okay, so we do got the damage stuff. Uh looks like it's just straight beat down. Also looks like I can't get any extra time. This guy doesn't have a stack me, does he? Oh, he does.
I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if there's more. I can gain more time in this final thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I think I can't beat these. <laughs> I just have enough time at the end. I can get to the final stage, but I can't do enough damage fast enough. Well, that's the case, and I guess I'll stop doing them for now. It might simply just be a end game thing. Kill this guy. Or like you have to be really good at everything, really. Just kill this. Guy real fast. So yeah, I don't think I can do any of that, so let me just go here. And we can end it on the shores. And then next time we'll just go through the main story. Hopefully uh, we'll run into Barnabas for the last time. Yeah, so far we're 0-2 <laughs> against Barnabas. He's too strong. Now let's see. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Oh, my camera's all distorted. Mm -hmm. so. There's, There's something, something I've been meaning to ask. ask. Oh, never mind. Yes, brother. You, you took, took her, her icon, icon, didn't you? How'd you know? <laughs> yes, I did. She, she understood. understood. Also, she can't transform anymore, huh? <laughs> what? Why? Oh, she understood. understood. Understood that you decided to save oh. the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. Uh. But I will. <laughs> you can't Larry. Us away, Clyde. The world is ours to save, not yours. I mean, can I just give it back? <laughs> I used my gift oh. because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Hmm? You don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Just don't forget, you're not alone. 
<laughs> Gav's like, what's going on back here? Oh. Uh, did I miss something? <laughs> we just smile about it. Yeah, just a little brotherly conflict. Yeah. We all good? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. <laughs> I think that's probably why we didn't take Joe with us. Obviously, she doesn't have her icon powers anymore. Or at least they're greatly suppressed. You know, we did take it from Benedicta back then, but she was still able to, like, fully transform. So I'm sure if Jira really wanted to, she could still transform, but Holy we don't know what would happen if uh, she did that. Don't expect a welcome. But, oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Castle. Shall we some oh, that castle. Inhabitants hospitality? <laughs> We can get ourselves a sample next time. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yeah, kind of excited to see what uh, is left for this game, and it really does suck that I feel like those trials you can't really beat them unless again you have the damage to beat them. Because I feel like I did it pretty well. I don't know. Anywho, until next time, guys, and I'll see you uh, maybe Wednesday at the earliest. We'll see. A couple days, but until next time.